Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report. Am I too close? Alright. Uh, word uh, that WWE has edited out the CM Punk from the Nexus video entrance. Big deal. Anyway, uh, word is that there's a sci-fi writer, Nora Zuckerman, uh, revealed on Twitter that uh, the former WWE superstar Edge will be appearing on next week's episode of Haven, uh, which I thought he was already on there. It could have been somebody else. And a few more episodes this season, so stay tuned. All right, here's some of Rikishi's thoughts on Samoa Joe. He said, this is a guy that can really mix it up with the best uh, out there, given the opportunity in this business. There's a lot of politics that you got to go through, and sometimes a way out. Uh, the company will throw that weight issue on you, and uh, this just, it is what it is, he says. All right, the WWE has acknowledged that CM Punk crashed the Comic-Con and confronted Triple H on their website today. They added that uh, they had to receive permission to post the footage on the website from WWE executives. And if you're still wondering... The entire thing was planned out by WWE and Punk was escorted in by handlers. WWE handlers. Which is okay. That's alright. We know that's that's ongoing issue. That's that's okay. Anyways, noted before earlier in the week, Steve Austin on his Twitter uh, said that WWE should hire Samoa Joe once his TNA contract ends. And uh, Austin called uh, Joe one of the favorite, uh, his favorite wrestlers uh, in the game today. And he needs a full green light push. Joe responded on his Twitter. He says, Austin, uh, BSR, says, much appreciative, uh, tips the hat. That's all he says. Anyway, The Miz, he's, uh, he appears at the progressive um, field in Cleveland, Ohio, if you're around that way, tomorrow night as he throws out the first pitch for the Los Angeles Angels, taking on the Cleveland Indians baseball game. Uh, former WWE champion JBL, he's back with a new video blog where he's discussing fans uh, thinking Alberto Drio uh, uh, stole his gimmick and more. With the car driving out and all that crap. At least he don't have horns on his head. WWE's shop uh, website has released a new Steve Austin stomping mud holes. Work shirt, not a t-shirt. Uh, anyway, WWE's greatest uh, superstars of the 21st century is officially released on DVD and Blu-ray today. WWE Shop's website is selling the DVD package with Shawn Michaels t-shirt, if you get it that way. Whoa. Perk. Uh, the latest uh, Ring of Honor stars Chris Hero and Claudio uh, Castanoli uh, is coming to WWE and kind of bypassing the developmental area and coming straight to the main roster so they're not going to be trained uh, the usual way maybe they're going to have them two going at it each other in their own style leave them that way for a while WWE camera crew is prepping with Steve uh, Austin today at his BSR ranch and is going to begin filming his new loaded DVD uh, tomorrow and Wednesday and an update on John Cena Alberto the real uh, from last weekend's live events, WWE did an angle where Del Rio put his Money in the Bank briefcase on the line while Cena would have uh, to go to SmackDown if he lost. Last night's show uh, in Maryland, though, saw the match end in the DQ, you might know. After The Miz and other Raw heels attacked Cena, this brought out the babyface Raw stars and came down to make a save for Cena. Boy, they... How people come up with those wonderful ideas like that that's never been done before is beyond me. Paul Bear, by the way, announced on his Twitter account the former uh, WWE referee Dave Hebner is undergoing heart surgery this morning. I always liked the Hebners, both of them. They, uh, they're funnier than heck if you've ever been at ringside with them. They'll uh, uh, yell at you, call you names. They'll, it's, they're, they're just always entertaining. Uh, uh, Smackdown taping, by the way, is being held at Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida on Tuesday, December 6th. Confirming an online rumor, Dwayne Rock Johnson revealed this morning on his Twitter that he's going to be meeting with John Cena at the Survivor Series. Uh, he wrote, Cena fans, please stop tweeting me about me being mean to John. 
He said, if you think I'm mean now, just wait until Survivor Series in New York. 25th, uh, 25th Annual Survivor Series, by the way, takes place Sunday, November 20th. Madison Square Gardens, New York. The Miz is being advertised to appear on Wednesday's episode of Lopez Tonight. The program airs at midnight on TBS. WWE is going to be touring Georgia this uh, December. Dates and locations are as follows. December 3rd at the Entertainment Complex, Augusta. And December 4th at the Civic Center in Columbus. And uh, December 5th at the Civic Center in Albany. Uh, John Cena, by the way, has responded to The Rock by saying he would be at Survivor Series. We know that. I'm sure he will. Dear Dwayne, now you know what we can't hope for is uh, Cena to be hurt between now and WrestleMania. Well, that build up been worthless. Anyway, he says, Dear Dwayne, excited that you are attending the Survivor Series Mark Square, uh, Mark at uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh, Cena wrote on uh, the Twitter, he said, you can buy a ticket on December, uh, September 10th. Uh, he says, I'll see you there. 25th Annual Survivor Series take place uh, Sunday, November 20th. Yeah. Well, I think I told you that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. All right, according to show in Upper Marlboro last night, Cena wrote the following odd tweet. Triple H attended the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, uh, attended the Pittsburgh Spe St Steelers. I'll get that out in a minute. Quarterback Ben Roethlisberger, isn't that all I can say? He's Roethlisberger, but not the Pittsburgh Steelers. Anyway, his wedding, uh, which took place Saturday in uh, Ohio Township, Pennsylvania. Big Ben is a huge wrestling fan. Guest uh, hosted an episode of Monday Night Raw back in October 09. Days after being suspended by, by WWE for a wellness violation, violation the organization's talent wellness program. Sin Cara has been removed from all SummerSlam promotional materials. Uh, his image no longer featured on promotional posters nor on the micro site. Bad, bad, bad Sin Cara. Regarding the mask uh, grappler status with uh, WWE, many employees are under the impression that management has decided to cut bait on him and uh, Creative wasn't informed until the day or two prior to the Money in the Bank that he was needed to be written off the television. And uh, were also told not to put him, uh, put out, uh, uh, put thought into any scenarios for him going forward. Final decision regarding his uh, immediate future is not being made at this time. I'm talking about some care. Ultimate Warrior, by the way, has launched a uh, Facebook page. Uh, Facebook.com, official Ultimate Warrior, what it's called. He uh, confirms the account. Former WWE uh, champion has posted a few uh, updates, including a blog and a video of himself working and taking a photo of Tonka's Ultimate Warrior wrestling buddy seated in a chair. He's also asking Warrior uh, fan art to be posted on his page. And maybe somebody, maybe you'll click over there and like. The official tweeter, uh, tweeter, the official Twitter account of uh, WWE Classics on Demand announced that Hacksaw Jim Duggan is going to be profiled at uh, the Hall of Famer in October. I guess Glen Falls Stadium is inducted to WWE Hall of Fame last April. Goldust, by the way, who has resumed uh, posted uh, on Twitter, uh, stated that uh, this afternoon on the social networking website that he's taking a break from in-ring wrestling competition. He wrote, says, "Listen up, guys." I'm done competing for a while. It's called a 22-year business break. Uh, Raw Superstar stated that last week he is working behind the scenes as producer and trainer with the organization's female performers, which I would I, I would quit for that. And WWE Hall of Famer uh, Jerry Lawler is going to be appearing at uh, Norfolk uh, Tides baseball game tonight. Norfolk, Virginia from uh, Harbor Park, 6-15. Yeah. WWE had Kelly Kelly and Alicia Fox making the rounds at the San Diego Comic Con this weekend. Besides interviews and celebrities, uh, things like that, it's a WWE uh, website gaming place is what it is. Uh, and anyway, they were going to a Camp Playboy party afterwards. I better get off here. I got to go to the Camp Playboy party. I got to go.